Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we're going to be checking out more mods to add for your infants in The Sims 4. We've had infants for over a year now and there's been a lot of mods that have come out since then so I want to go over a few of them that are my favorite but before we move forward there was some important Sims 4 news yesterday and I wanted to cover it because it's about time we've gotten this news so let's get into the news part of it. If you do want to skip ahead to the actual mods, I'll go ahead and put chapters on so you guys can just skip to the mod reviews. But for those of you who want to see the news, you can stick around. All right, so this is straight from the Sims 4 website, obviously, and you probably saw this yesterday, but essentially, what they are investigating is the issues that we have in the Sims 4 game to make it a less buggier game because there has been a lot of bugs and issues over the Sims 4 for a while now and they finally have assembled a team. It's right here in bold to investigate the core game experience, including tackling technical issues within the Sims 4. You can pause and read this if you want to, but the main focus is that they have a team now to hopefully fix a lot of the core game bugs and all of that stuff. Stuff, so hopefully it makes The Sims a lot more stress-free when playing it. But yeah, that was about it. But with that being said, let's get into The Sims 4 now. All right, so I'm in cast right now. There's actually a reason for that. As we can see, my Sim is standing up. And I know this is not an infant, but bear with me. We know the default position for infants, how they sit down with that little pillow around their waist. Well, there's actually now an override for your infants to where they will... So this is how they're supposed to be. I don't know why it's glitching in my game, but you can see her standing up and then she sits back down. But it's supposed to be easier to when you're doing CC that they can actually like stand up. I'm not sure why it's glitching, but they should be able to stand up. Maybe it will work for your game. Let's just get into more of the mods in this video. All right, we are back for my long time subscribers. You'll recognize this house, but I figured, you know, we got an infant back. You know, I'm gonna keep my promise and always be on this lot when we've got an infant. I'm just gonna put Alina down here cause infants can be kind of annoying. All right, but the first mod I actually want to go over is a mod that is a co-sleeper mod. As we can see, we have a crib here, and I honestly thought that The Sims would come out with a co-sleeper type crib with infants, because that does seem to be a really big thing when you have a baby is to co-sleep with them, not in the bed, but like on a like the crib on the side. So I've downloaded two of them and we're gonna we're gonna look at them. All right, so this is the first one. I do want to point out that this is the free version. There's another one that you do have to be a Patreon member for, but I wanted to show this one so that you have options. So if you just wanted to download the free one, this is it. Don't worry, there's more than just one swatch they've got a whole bunch of them for you and whatever you want for your infants they've got patterns they've got you know solid colors whatever you want it is in here but I think this is such a great idea and I'm honestly shocked as to why we didn't get it in the sims 4 because I I could have bet my life savings and I would have been broke because they didn't add it into they didn't add it into the game at all. But I know it is the morning, but with infants, they get tired really quickly. So we can go ahead and put Alina in this crit. Oh, okay. I had to play Bob the Builder real quick, but I'm going to go ahead and place Alina in here. Make sure to have BB.move objects on to get it close to the bed because it's not going to let you if you don't. But as we can see, Marina is picking up Alina and going to put her in this crib over here. So now now you can actually sleep with your infant. So I mean, not technically sleeping, but this is how it'll look. Now you can put them on this side so that they're actually like facing your sim or you can put them like this and then my sim can climb in to bed. She's not covered. Anyways, now they're both asleep and they look pretty cute together. Now you, I feel bad for moving Alina. So I'm just going to show you the swatches for the other one. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the other co-sleeper. This is by Leo Sims. I forgot to say this is from Cassidy Simmer. I'm pretty sure this is the one that you have to be a Patreon member to get. 
So that's why I wanted to have two options. So if you guys wanted to have the co-sleeper option, you still had one that was free. But if you guys want to get one that is, you know, you're gonna have to pay money to get, you can have that option as well. So there's not that many swatches, but it looks so realistic and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think we'll do this little teddy bear one and then we'll just, we'll just flip this over here. My favorite thing to do with Sims is sell the piece of furniture when they're laying on it because they just kind of like float off of it. All right, so now I'm gonna wake up Alina, or not Alina, I'm gonna wake up Marina. I don't know why she's in lingerie over here. It's a PG-13 video. Anyways, she's gonna pick up Alina. She just broke through the laws of physics. Anyways, absolutely love this co-sleeper. And now she is laying down back in the co-sleeper. I'm gonna put some clothes on my sim. Yeah, that is the co-sleeper. So I actually... I love the whole idea. I could talk about it all day, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. All right, so the next mod is lower needs and energy for infants. Obviously, I can't really show you this. It's more of a gameplay thing, but this should help your infants with their, you know, needs. So you're not having to constantly check them. So if your Sims, you know, need a minute, they're able to take that because Alina's, you know, levels, her motives aren't going down as quicker as they would. So like here is the page, it's by Plum Lace. I wanted to show you guys because it is kind of hard to show because it is more of a gameplay mod, but essentially it decays it by 50% because infants, their needs go down pretty quickly. But there are two files, it's important. I want to discuss this because only download one of them. This one right here, it decays all of their needs. This one right here decays all of their needs, but energy, as you can see in this this little sentence here, it allows the energy to decrease at a higher rate than the rest of the infant needs due to a request. And I do like that because infants do sleep a lot from what I know of. So as you know, Marina is interacting with her daughter, we can see these needs going down, but these are going down a little slower than the rest of them. So yeah, I have played with this mod since infants came out. And I can tell you right now, it is a lifesaver. Like you can definitely tell the difference in game with the mod and without the mod. And I've only ever played with the mod when infants came out because I'm not gonna lie, they were starting to get on my final straw, those infants. But now you can slow their needs down. So as you can see right here, they've been going down a little bit, but on to the next mod. I'm gonna put Lena back in her co-sleeper. Yeah, I was gonna put her back in the crib, but I was like, you know, why not just put her in the co-sleeper that I downloaded? This mod is a mod by Little Miss Sam's. It also has to do with auto checks, but if, if I have my Sim leave the room, normally your Sims check their infants pretty frequently, like every five or 10 minutes or so in the game. What this is is it's auto checks for infants and toddlers so this mod actually makes it from going to five minutes to 60 minutes where they'll do their auto checks because the sims change the way that the sims will react to infants and like newborn infants and toddlers with their auto checks and they made it more frequently some people didn't like that and i understand why because it feels like you can't do anything so now with this mod you're able to increase the auto check so it's not every you know, every five seconds, it feels like. But if I like put this on super speed, it's 12, 20. This might be a little boring, but I do want you to see that she is able to do other stuff. She's watching TV right now, Alina's asleep. And um, yeah, they should do like their auto checks. See, now she's checking on Alina. It's been a bit. I also want to say that I think maybe with our infants having a lower need decay that it definitely does help make that auto check longer because they're not like losing their needs as fast if that makes sense but those are for the sort of smaller mods i would say all right so the next mod that we'll be checking out which is our final one it's a bit of a two-in-one but it is by qmbb it's the child care overhaul she had a mod a while ago called baby care overhaul but she redid it to I believe include newborns and toddlers. So like newborns, infants, and toddlers. So now it is more realistic. I will say this might be too realistic for my simmers, but 
I'm showing it to you because I do think that this mod is pretty incredible. So what you will need is to download the childcare overhaul and then the express delivery mod by QMBB. You'll know why you have to download express delivery once I get once I get to that part. But until then, let's see what this mod actually is. So in the name of it is childcare overhaul. If I click on Alina and I go to baby care, you'll see that there is kind of like a newer window of stuff. But if I click on hygiene, it's all green out and you're probably wondering why well in real life we have to buy items in order to do like the necessary stuff like changing a diaper we don't have a diaper we don't have baby cream and we don't even have baby wipes so we can't change her diaper we can't give Alina a bath because there's no baby wash and moisturizer the same thing for a bubble bath as well we could use cloth diapers but I don't have a laundry system so that's that's out of the way. Clothing now costs 150 simoleons to get into cast so that you can buy some new clothes for your infants or you can just hit the change outfit and it'll bring up all of the outfits that Alina has. And then with feeding, I don't, she's not even able to sit up yet so I'm not gonna worry about that. But with the bottle feeding, you have to buy a scoop of baby formula. Now, as you can see, Alina was breastfeeding. That is free. You do not have to pay for that. You don't have to buy anything for that either. <laughs> if you did have Panda Sama's childbirth mod, she, she does have a lactation update in there where your Sims can buy formula and stuff like that. So if you wanted to just bypass, you know, doing it that way, you could just have your Sims like pump. It'll give you like a bottle. You can feed your infant that way. This is why you need the express delivery because as you can see we don't have all this items and you're probably wondering where can I get those items Carol I'm about to show you so with express delivery you'll go to your phone make sure to have XML injector in your game I cannot stress that enough we'll go to shopping and go to shopping apps now I've covered this mod before so if you need to go back to that video to figure out exactly what this mod gives you. I can link that as well. We've got a list of stores that we can go to and get stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's in Target of all the stuff that we need to get. So yeah, it's it's all here. So this is like a whole list of stuff you can get at Target. I mean, I will say you can get anything in this Target store in the Sims, but we really want to focus on baby care, which is right here, which is all the stuff that we're going to need to get for this child care mod to be able to use the stuff. Now, I'm going to buy one of everything, but you might want to buy some more because this is a single use diaper rash cream slash ointment. So, you know, I might want to buy a few more. We've got Aquaphor, which is a, the baby cream. This one doesn't tell you how much um, uses it, it gets, but we could buy just a few more. This is also another single use diaper Hyper rash ointment cream. They've got this Aveeno cream too. They've got Burt's Bees in here. What? We've got Burt's Bees, the Himalaya. We've got Huggies in here. This gives you 19 infant diapers. So I don't know if this is equivalent to how much Huggy baby diapers are in real life, but 18 simoleons doesn't seem too bad. And then we've also got, we got to buy baby wipes too. This is single baby wipe. I don't know how many uses you get with this, but we'll just buy two to be Safe. This is with the bubble bath stuff. So if you wanted, if you wanted to give your babies a bubble bath, you can buy this stuff. I think we'll just buy the purple one. And then they've got baby lotion as well in here. Yes, yeah, so you can go and look through this to see exactly what you need. Pampers swaddlers. They've got pampers in here. So if you didn't like Huggies, you could go with pampers, you know. They've got the formula in here as well. I think we could probably just buy the purple one. I don't know, I'm in a purple mood today. So this leaves us with 118 simoleons and I'm pretty sure that's with delivery fee included. These infants are getting expensive. All right, well, I guess we have no choice but to check market. And I understand this might be too much, you know, for a Sims 4 game. I completely get that. I did cover this mod in a single video before the childcare and people were like, no, this is too much. I get that, but I wanted to showcase it because people like me, there are some simmers out there that that love this, but, but we got our Tarjay delivery. You can go ahead and open that and then it should bring all of our items in to this little Sims inventory. And then now we can change 
Alani's diaper. Alani is asleep. They say never to wake up a sleeping baby, but for the sake of this video, I do not care. We will be waking this baby up. So we can also now go back into hygiene. We have all this stuff, but it's not working for some reason. I mean, I still can go up here. Okay, here we go. So, I mean, it does, it does work. Oh, oh, I think I get, you need to like actually take out the stuff to do it. Okay, I think, I think I might understand it. There might be more steps. Okay, so yeah, you gotta take out the actual, you gotta take this stuff out in your inventory. So if you wanted to use all of this stuff, like if you wanted to give, cause I already changed her diaper. So if I wanted to give her like a bath, you gotta like, physically take out the stuff. So like, I think we need the baby cream, the moisturizer, like the lotion or whatever it is, and then go back into hygiene. Oh, baby wash, hold on. Completely forgot that we needed that. And then we'll click back on our our subject and we can give a bubble bath now. I think I might've forgotten to buy the, the, ba the baby wash or whatever, but you gotta physically take this stuff out. I, I can understand why people would be like, no, that's too much. But I will say, I, I do really like it because it makes it realistic. I mean, it's just preparing ourselves for if you want to have kids in the future, you can, you know, become an expert on The Sims. But that is pretty much it for the child care overhaul. Obviously, this is a gameplay mod. So the more you play with it, you know, the more you'll be able to do all the, the stuff with it. But no, I will say it is, it is pretty intense, but it makes for good gameplay. You know, it's a lot taking care of an infant. So those are some of my favorite infant mods that I play with in my game. But with that being said, this is the end. Uh, wait, 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 wait. If she's gonna go back to bed, put your baby in the co-sleeper. I didn't BB dot move objects for nothing. Okay, now they can, now they can go to sleep because we're ending this video anyways. Oh, you can actually see she's like actually sleeping, sleeping next to her. So, all right. Well, with that being said, that is it for today's video. Well, thank you all so much for watching today's YouTube video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and please make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you would use any of these mods and your Sims 4 gameplay. And I will see you all on Monday. Also, it is Memorial Day weekend. So happy Memorial Day to everyone that is celebrating. Mm -hmm.